Shalik. Hi, how are you? Great, how I'm Christina. Oh, hey, Christina. I'm Christina from What's the 411. Nice to meet oh, you. Nice to meet you too. Yeah. Do you mind if I ask you a couple of questions? Of course. All right, cool. So what are you doing in New York? Uh, you know, um, I'm promoting out here. I'm promoting my album, Blood, Sweat, Tears. So I just came from, I um, actually just came from the gym. And, uh, you know, put my cars in the bag, the, the, my bag in the car. <laughs> All right. Well, first I want to say congratulations on your hit single, The Pass. Yeah. All right. So you are originally from New York. I'm originally from the Bronx, New York. BX, baby. Stand up. Okay. You know, so by way of Charleston, South Carolina. So I have a lot of family in Charleston. So I'm big up to Chucktown as well. Wow. But, uh, New York is my home. Okay. How has the Bronx been receptive to Shalik? How has anyone, you know... Hey, that's Shalik representing the Bronx. How how, yeah, how they yeah. you know I get a lot of people on Facebook and Twitter, you know, um, you know from the Bronx, you know, shouting me out, and they're excited, you know, they're happy for me, and you know, seeing somebody from the hood is coming up and doing their thing in the business is is always a great thing, you know, as well as uh, Charleston, Charleston, South Carolina, a lot of people I went to school with, you know, reaching out to me and just you know telling me how proud they are of me, so that's that's a good feeling. Wow. So you also just recently opened up for Life Jennings in Washington D.C. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's my how right was that? Yeah. That was awesome, man. We just left D.C. Uh, the show was yesterday. Um, it was at um, uh, Howard Theater. And um, it was great. The lighting was great. The, the crowd was great. The atmosphere was bananas. You know, of course, you know, my team were always on point with it. You know, we, uh, we, we rehearse a lot, so we like to give the people a good show. And I met a lot of fans and, 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 and took a lot of pictures, signed a lot of autographs, so it was a great feeling. Yeah. How does the audience differ from D.C. versus New York? Um, I, I don't think it's, 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 it's a real big difference. Um, you know, uh, I performed in New York a few times, one, one at BB King's, SOB's, uh, a few places, and um, you know, the energy is always great. You know, DC was great energy as well, so they were similar in a lot of ways. Wonderful. Yeah. So I also know you're from a family of musicians. Yeah. Your mother's a singer and your father's a drummer. How has that supported Shalik's career? Someone did their research. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my mother, she uh, she always played songs growing up, you know, around the house. Um, I would be watching cartoons or playing with my cousins, and in the background, I, it was a soundtrack to whatever she was playing. So I always had music in my life, and it kind of molded me to be an artist. And um, yeah, she played it. She played great artists too. She didn't just play the radio. She went and she she had albums and vinyls, and she would play it. And you know, I would always go to her collection and just read the credits and you know read about the artists. Yeah, so you mentioned that your mother played a lot of good artists. Yeah. I know you're a big fan of Sam Cooke and Donny Hathaway. Who is Shalik currently listening to on the radio that um, we might be familiar with right now? Right now. Uh, I, I love what Bruno Mars is doing. You know, I listen to Bruno Mars, CeeLo. I love CeeLo. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I like a lot of the old, old Outkast stuff. Um, you know, Hove, Jay-Z, um, feeling his album, you know, Kanye. Um, so I don't only like, you know, R&B and soul music, I like different genres, you know, uh, but soul is the core of me, you know, Sam Cooke, Donny Hathaway, Stevie Wonder, that's like, I listen to that every day, you know, still to yeah. today, yeah. yeah. Speaking of genres, would you consider yourself more R&B or neo-soul? Um, I, I, I say soul, I'm a soul artist, soul singer, you know, I don't really like to say anything, but if someone was to ask me, you know, what genre would you put yourself in? I would say soul music. No neo soul, no R and B, just soul music. You know, cool. people might ca categorize me as an R and B artist, and that's cool. That's fine. People might categorize me as a pop artist. That's cool. That's fine. You know, if you see me that way. But for myself, I think I'm a soul artist. A soul artist. Okay. So now, for those who don't know, you were originally signed to Universal Records. Yes, right How? There too. I yeah. Yeah. Almost like maybe three times a week, right there. Oh, wow. Right there. <laughs> so how has the transition been from signing, you know, from starting with Universal and now to your current record label, Pendulum Records? Yeah, um, and shout out to Pendulum Records, Ruben Rodriguez, uh, and everyone on the staff. Uh, it's been great so far. Um, but uh, from signing to Universal, I, I went on to be a songwriter. So I wasn't an artist anymore. I just kind of fell behind the scenes and just began to just songwrite. And then um, a few, maybe a year ago, a year and a half ago, I decided to be an artist again. So. The transition was definitely, it, it was something I didn't think would happen. I didn't think I would ever want to be an artist again. I kind of lost, I kind of lost the, the uh, not that I lost the love for it. I just, I, um, I began to just be complacent and just be comfortable with being a songwriter. Yeah. And it, it was comfortable for me. It was a lot less stress. It was safer for me to, to, you know, to do 
and it didn't involve a lot of people. It was just myself, and and at the time, that's all I trusted was myself. So I, I decided this is the this is the best best place for me to be until I got a, a real good team about around me to support me and to guide me and to to help me. And uh, Pendulum Records happened to be that team, um, as well as my PR team and, and my personal team, T Rex and Katie. Um, you know, I just I, I feel like I have that support now, and I can really really do this full time and, and, and confidently. So would you say it was easy or difficult? It, wasn't easy. it, was it was difficult. It was difficult. You know, it was difficult and it took a lot of time. You know, it took some years. But uh well we're here now, baby. We here. Yeah. <laughs> That's wonderful. Also, so in your uh, music video, The Past, I noticed you're singing right behind a piano. Yes. Do you actually play? I'm 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 not a, a real, really great, great piano player, but I'm getting it. And um I enjoy the instrument a lot. You know, I've always enjoyed the piano. Um you know, did a few lessons growing up. Never stuck with it, so I'm not great. But I, um, I do love the instrument, and I am practicing. So, one day I'll be great. Wonderful. Okay. We also know you have an album coming out, Blood, Sweat, Tears. Blood, sweat, tears. What is the official release date? Uh, we don't have a, an official release date date yet, but it's going to be around September, October. So look out for Blood, Sweat, Tears. The single, The Past, is on iTunes right now. So it's, it's also on Amazon, Google Play. So y'all check it out. It's on YouTube as well. And um, people just been giving me great feedback about the video and, and, and the song and how we relate, you know, how they can relate to it and how it touches them. So definitely check it out. Yeah. Where did the concept for the title name, where did that originate from? Um, originally, someone sent me the track and um, the track was named The Wind. And uh, I was like, uh, you know, the, the title of the, tr the track just intrigued me. I was like, the wind, wow, let me listen to it. And um, I listened to it and, and, and I just heard like this, this crazy bass line and these strings. And I was like, wow, this is amazing. You know, the, the track is not really done yet, but it's, it, it, it does something to me. It moves me. Um, and so I called out to a good friend of mine, Fred the Writer. And uh, I said, man, I need help with this one, man. I'm, I'm kind of, it, it, it almost intimidated me to track, you know. And I felt like I needed to put the perfect lyrics to it. And it wasn't coming to me right away. So I reached out to Fred the writer, and he came up with uh, The Past. And I was like, man, that's brilliant. You know what I'm saying? I said, I love it. You know, when can I cut it? I, I eventually cut it maybe two weeks after, you know, I listened to it. And um, I wanted to put a bridge to it. And, and it just all gelled together, and here we, here we have it, you know, the past. Wonderful. Now, also, do you write your own music? Yeah, I do. I do write my own music, but I'm not, I love co um, collaborating. I love co-writing, and I love working with different people, different producers, different songwriters, and, you know, I'm, I'm a team player. That's what's up. So now, speaking of collaborations, who would be your dream feature, or, you know, what artist would you love to collaborate with right now? Can I pull them from back in the day? Yeah, okay. Yeah, cool. <laughs> Uh, it would have to be uh, Stevie Wonder. Stevie Wonder. I'm a, I'm a huge fan of Stevie Wonder. Um, he he definitely um, inspired me. You know, from four and five years old. You know, and still continues to inspire me. So it would have to be Stevie Wonder. He's he's amazing. He's incredible, and he's he's Stevie. Come on, he's Stevie yeah. Wonder. That's wonderful. So you know, I've seen some of your performances. Um, do people ever get surprised at your vocal range? Or do they ever get yeah. surprised at how young you are for such a, a large voice? Yeah, they do. I mean, when I speak, I speak in my lower range. Okay. I, you know, I, I speak like, you know, they be like, wow, you sing totally different from the way you speak. And I always get that. But so, yeah, I get a lot of surprises in that area. But uh, um, I've just, I, I was taught to just use different parts of my voice. You know, when you listen to Sam Cooke, he's, he's wailing, you know. When you listen to these, these uh, Donny Hathaway, he has this smooth, kind of laid-back approach. So I kind of I kind of picked up on a lot of different uh, styles and, and, you know, it, it kinda, I kind of created my own style, you know, without even trying. It's just for, based on what I was, was, was learning and, and taking in. Yeah. So now for people who don't know who Shalik is, what separates you from the other artists who are out here? Um, it's Besides really your hard. sound, I know it's really hard to answer a question like that. Um, I just I don't really, in terms of of of, of be, I don't try to be different. I don't try to, to do anything different from whatever, whoever's you know out on the radio or because I, I I have a lot of respect for a lot of artists out here and and I and I love a lot of different songs. But I just do what comes natural to me, you know. And however you take that is how you take it, you know. I would hope that you would love it and. You know, accept it and, and share it to the rest of the world. But um, I just do what comes naturally, you know, and, and it's not trying to be anything. It's just, it's just doing what I, what I feel and what I love. Yeah. 
So the past is available on iTunes, on um, Amazon, on Amazon. Cool. Yeah. So where else can we um, find out any information about you? Any future tour dates? Any yeah. performances? Absolutely. Everything is on my uh, my Facebook fan page, Official Shalik. We need y'all to go to Official Shalik, uh, Facebook.com slash Official Shalik, S H A L I E K. And please, 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 I beg of you, I beg of you, like the page. Press like because once you like the page. You're now in, involved in my journey. I want, I want to bring everybody along with me and, 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 and let's take this journey together. You know, that's what I want to do with my fans. Wonderful. So you I also have a Twitter page. Sorry. Yeah. It's, uh, my Twitter is uh, it's also official, Shali. Okay, cool. So can we get a verse before we wrap it up? Uh, can we get a little something from the past? Let's, let's do a little Stevie Wonder. Uh, 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 <laughs> let's do a little Stevie Wonder. The past is on iTunes. We're going to get y'all to go there and listen to it, okay? And YouTube. <laughs> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> Let me see. I see us in the park, strolling those summer days of imaginings in my head, and words from my heart told only to the wind, but even without being said. A little bit, a little bit of Stevie Wonder. Wow, all right, for the ladies. Okay, so once again, this is Shalik. And I'm Christina from What's the 411. Thank you. And we out, baby. Yes.